Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. On this episode, I am going to talk about the Photoshop secrets that make our work very easy and fast. If you want to learn it, watch my video at the end. Hello guys, I am Mahdi Amini and it is Jill Design channel. All my video contents are about the Photoshop and photo editing. If you like these types of video, you can subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon when I upload new video. It will notify for you and you can be the first one who see my video. On this video, I am going to talk about the Photoshop secrets that make our work very easy and fast. And the first of all, I want to talk about the crop tool. What I want to talk, let's see. As you see, this photo is captured with angle, and if you want to strike it and while using crop tool, it's a common way all editors use to strike it by clicking on the photo and turn it to left or right, we can strike it and the Photoshop have another facility on this that is without any turning, you can stride it this photo as you see and here we have an stride an option by clicking on this, it don't have any different, you draw this line vertical or horizontal, by only draw one line, you can stride the photo, let me draw here a line like this now as you see the photo change to a stride without any angle by applying it change to a stride and the other ability of crop tool is that while having pixels to send photos or if you want to change this photo to panorama while having pixel to this and applying you see the quad side of this photo is a pity and the only way that you must use clone and stamp to fill it or you must copy stamp of this photo to fill the input side of the photo and now I want to tell other ability let's be control Z this and now as you see in here and uh, in crop tool in here we have content aware option that when you add pixel and now let me do this and now as you see Content aware engines go to fill this, and as you see, it's get fill. And the only one problem is here that the homes get in here, and by using corner stamp, we can easily hide this. Let's do this. And yeah. As you see, the photo changed to panorama from the crop tools abilities and the first we strike this photo and the second by using content aware option we change it to panorama and this was the two secret of crop tools and now i'm going to talk about the masking as you see i want to select this place of the apartments and river i want to mask it that and you can use from correct selection as you know the newest version of photoshop have different like in the sky and color range and sometimes they don't work correctly you must select selected manually and then now i want to select this place and now by adding this yes I do my selection, but it is not a very good as you see some plus of apartment or in selection and I don't want that to be select. And uh, the other way that we can use from here that quick mask. And it's very good masking for selection that it shows for us and where of this photo or in selection or where or not. As you see, when I click on this, you see in here change it to red color and those reds place here on our selection. That's it because of this. And now I can easily use from brush tool. Use from brush tool and now uh, I'll change size it to smaller now. When the black color be on the foreground and uh, I draw with brush on photo, it has those place on our selection. Let's say see this and now I want to um, change the softness now and here. I 
And now in this point, the square holds in my selection. I want to remove from selection. I change the foreground color to white, and also use my brush tool to remove it from my selection now. And has, when I click it back, it's changed to selection again. Now I want to have a duplicate of this layer and also I want to mask this. As you see in this and here the squares get masked. And by pressing Ctrl I I want to embed this and as you see the mask get inverse. And another example from layer mask is you can uh, if I type here some text. Let's use this text and type here design. to make it smaller yeah. and put this layer backwards of this masked layer and now I want to talk about the other selection tactics from here. When you click on the channel of layer, and here we have select pixels options that is very easily select the layer subject. This gives a selection and the other way that by pressing control and left click on the channel of layer, we can select this layer also. Now I select the layer mask with black color and now when I Draw in here, and here we have Sanchez, and also on had a descent. I want to change uh, this also. This we can draw on this, we like this, and also a little we can draw in here. And here we can draw here. We have some chins on here with the layer mask and also if the uh, same times and may don't do good you can easily return that by also again select this pixel go to layer mask and by using brush with a white foreground color and now as you see when I draw in here the portents get back and this was the crop tool secret and also the Mask secrets that I explained it for you. And now let's do the higher photo. And here I want to explain the pupil work. How we can use from pupil work to change every point that you want. Now let's use this and then they can to edit and uh, select pupil work. You see, we have different points in here in every body that we want to bring change. We can add pen also. Now, I want to have a change on her hands. I move it to top and also want to change on her legs. And one on her foot. Yes, like this. Also, I want to have a change in here. And this is the pupil work that I want to compare. As you see, this is the pupil work edited. As you see, and here we have a lot of difference in her body. And now this was the pupil work that we can easily by adding pen on the subject and moving every pen and everywhere we can bring change. It don't have any difference. It's maybe human, it's maybe word, it's maybe wire. It's belong to us that what we want to do with that subject. Now let's go to other photo just and here I want to explain for you the selection like this and now I want to move one of this layer which one like this and here be aware of the screen I click and drag my mouse to everywhere the one layer get move and now when I change the layer selection also when I Click in every layer of this screen. That selection move that I selected on layers. And in here, we have auto select option. By checking this, when you drag mouse and click 
on this layer, this layer move, and when you come in here and move your mouse in here, it's automatically select this layer. And now, and out of that, I want to explain the other thing that is very, very important. That's all we must know and take care of that. And every edit that you want to do, we must use from that. Now I want to have a question from you. How should it can be that you make the photo smaller when you make a large? It must have its quality. I don't lose its quality. The only way that we can do this on the Photoshop is converting layers to the smart object. These four layers that I have in here, all of those are a smart objects. And uh, now I want to try this photo. And now you see when I make it smaller, after that, when I make it bigger, it loses quality and it gets some softness because after that you make it big, the Photoshop automatically blend all the pixels together and now just has now you see this and also I want to change this photo. As you see me, I want to change it to a smaller. After that, As you see, it don't lost its quality. And the other option that also lost the photo's quality is rotating. As you see now, I want to, oh, at the first time, must destroy this layer. And now, when you rotate it down a lot and hit it, from hit it and transform, shift control T. Let's do our work it again. As you see, let's move back. And now, by every rotate that we do on this, the photo lost its quality. And this is, you see that by every rotating, the photo lost its quality and it's, it's don't go to a advanced photographer do this. Now, um, also the only way that we can do this is by using from a smart object and this was the photoshop secrets that i tell for you all at the first of all was the two option of crop tools and striking tools and content aware to have that that i was explained clipping mask that is by pressing q we can use from color selection mask and you can have any more from your selection and also by masking and the layer by selecting layer mask and using from black color for painting it's get clean and using from white color and painting pixels that was cleanest gets return and after that I explained the pupil work that you can use from that and transform every point of subject that you want and after that I explained the auto select option that makes our work easily on that project that we have a lot of layer by entering the auto select option only we can move and work Work with that layer that we have selected from the layer window and after that at the end I explained the, the convert to smart object that is very important for all edits that we must use that on the layer because it's keep the main quality of the photo and then don't take permission to Photoshop to lose the quality if you make it very smaller and after that you make it bigger the quality of the photo don't lose because you save it to the smart object and also while rotating you must take care always use from a smart object to our edits to have the best quality of photo if this video was helpful for you all, you can like my video and also subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon when I upload the new video, it will notify for you all. Have a good time, see you to another tutorial.